you have been following along in this series of videos, then you now have a project and you have also applied power to the Click CPU. Next, we need to get the PC talking to the Click. Port 1 on the Click CPU module is designed as the primary programming port. This port has fixed communication parameters so you can always connect the programming software to the Click CPU module through this port without any configuration changes. There are a couple of choices for connecting the PC to Port 1 on the Click CPU module. If a 9-pin RS-232 serial communications port is available on your PC, then use an Automation Direct PC serial programming cable, shown here, to connect between the PC and the CPU's port 1. The trend on newer PCs has been not to include a serial port. In that situation, use an Automation Direct USB to RS-232 PC to panel programming cable assembly, shown here, and connect between the PC and the CPU's port 1. Once the communication cable is connected, we need to establish communications between the two. If using the PC serial port, then we need to know what COM port number it is assigned. Typically, this will be COM1 or COM2. If using USB communications, then we will need to know what COM port number has been assigned when the COIL USB driver recognizes the Click CPU. The software has a built-in utility that will allow us to easily identify the COM port number. From the PLC pull-down menu in the programming software, select Connect as shown here. Or you can click on the Connect icon located on the PLC toolbar. The Connect to PLC dialog box will be displayed. Under the PC COM port number drop-down list, select the communications port that is connected to the CPU's port 1. If you are connecting the programming cable to port 1 on the Click CPU module, you do not need to change any of the parameters. Just click the OK button. The software should start to immediately connect to the Click CPU module. If you cannot connect the software to the Click CPU module, try the above procedure one more time and keep watching the TX1 and RX1 indicators on the Click CPU module. If the RX1 is not blinking, it means the Click CPU module is not receiving any data from the programming software. Check to make sure you selected the correct PC COM port and also check the cable connections. The following Connect dialog box will appear once communications has been established with the Click CPU. It is typical that the project that is opened in the programming software will not match the project that resides in the CPU. The dialog box gives you a choice to either read the PLC's project for viewing purposes, but at the same time allowing the project opened in the software to still be saved, or not read the project in the PLC. We now have communications. Part 7 in this video series will show you how to write your project into the memory of the Click CPU. Until next time, thank you for watching. Have a great day.